Hi, my name is Chloe Peterson, and I decided to make a video game called Road Tripping. And basically what it is, is you get a map when you enter the game, and you can pick which state you want to go first. And you have to complete three tasks of your choosing, and they can range from, like, let's say you go to Utah, you can ski, hike, just all those things, and you get to pick which ones you want to do. You have to complete at least three, you can complete as many as you want. But you get three and then you get a stamp from that state and it goes into your passport and once you completed your whole passport you end the game so basically you can jump around so you can do two in one state and then one in the other one and then just like keep going around but to complete and finish the whole state you have to and earn a stamp you have to complete three tasks when you enter the game, you get an option of picking a boy or girl as your character and the character will be dressed as if it is an adventure. So it will have like a backpack, it will have the map in its backpack. So that's when like when you want to pick a different state, you pick, you click the map in his backpack and it opens up and then you pick the state and it will just like dress, look like it's an adventure. So it'll make you feel more like part of the game and be in the game circle because you know that your character looks like an adventure and you are the adventure. My target audience is anyone that loves to learn and wants to learn about the states and capitals. Um, they like going on adventure, they love traveling, um, especially during this time, like you know how you can travel. So it can be people that just love traveling but want to be traveling in the comfort of their own home, um, learning something new, learning about history, um, I just want to learn about the states and capitals, um, especially if like they're in school and um, the and in their class they have to take a test on the states and capitals. This is designed to help them understand the states and capitals and help them remember them in a fun and inviting way. This game um, is just going to be on the computer. I think it is going to be like the easiest way. So you just like go on to a website and this is the game you get to play and it will just help little kids or even um kids in high school that are learning states and capitals um just understand it just a little bit better and the computer they can just like have like a big screen to and see the states um the rules of the game are pretty simple like i've like said at the beginning you finish three game or three tasks in each state you get a stamp you fill up your passport and by the end of the game you should be able to name all the states and capitals and something interesting about them and doing the task will help you get to this point because this game is pretty simple and aimed towards a younger audience i mean it can be for older as well but it's not going to be stressful it's not going to cause them to worry or stress it's a game that they can do at their own pace so if they need to just learn about one state they can just stay in that state the whole time um, um or they only need to learn about three states it can just stay in, it's just gonna be really stressed um let, not stressful at all and they can just do whatever the heck they want at their own pace the camera view is going to be three-dimensional like the whole game so you can feel like you're in the spot but when you play the games it will turn into two-dimensional so you can just like play the games some games not all games will be two-dimensional most of the game will be three-dimensional there is a couple games where you just need it to be two dimensional and to save it um it's just going to be a quick save so whenever you finish a task it will save um if you're in the middle of the task you will have to do that task again because it only saves after every task is done in each state and so then whenever you come back let's say you only finished one in every state you finish one in every state because it's just quick saved for you um uh, you can click it whenever you want as well. Like it will just like automatically save, but you can click the click save before you leave if you're like worried that it didn't save what you did or whatever. So for the levels of the game, there's going to be 50 levels, but three submissions per state. So I expect there to be like 150 levels because you do, there's 50 states and you have to do three tasks in each state. So each task is a level. Um, if you are playing for the first time and you get a task wrong or you're not sure how to do it, there will be a video that pops up to show you just how to do it and then you'll be able to do it because it's going to be super easy for any age. Um, the avatar will look like 
the same throughout the whole game so they won't grow physically but they emotionally will they will grow happier whenever they get closer to finishing they'll like start to act happier make more happier noises things like that um it can be frustrated or sad when it misses a game a task and doesn't can't do it um but then they can just try as many times as they want and they avatar will get more intelligent same as the player um because they're learning so much different things at once the world is gonna be just like the united states like um when you enter it's gonna be a map you pick what state you want to go to and utah like let's say you pick on utah it's gonna have mountains and um snow and you know just stuff like that so it's gonna look like you are in that state so the world it, it looks like real life basically characters are gonna make little noises throughout the game just to keep the player entertained um so like if it finishes a task and it got it right and it like you know or they get a stamp they finish the state it's gonna say yay or we did it and just be super happy and optimistic and if they don't pass a game or don't pass the state it will say oh no or oh dang it you know just little things like that um and then the music in the background you can turn it off or you can just keep it going and it's just gonna be very adventurous music like you know, just like super um adventurous but very quiet so that it doesn't distract from you trying to learn something so but it will be very like part of the game um, this game is going to help um, players change for the better because they're learning um, states and capitals, which is like something that you do, you have to know in school, like in elementary school and in high school, I learned in high school. And so they're learning something new and it will probably help them a whole time on tests and assignments and things like that, but also can change them for the worse because they can get bored and think that learning is dumb and they won't take it serious. And so then they'll not do as good as on their tests in school just because they thought it was dumb and boring and then they won't do as good. So, yeah. For me, States and Capitals was really hard. I failed every single test that I had to do um, to get the States, <laughs> like to do the States and Capitals. So I think that this game should be made because I feel like it's going to help a lot of people and um, I think that people are going to do better on the states and capitals test just because it is like an on your pace thing. So if they want to just stay in a state for like the whole game, they can stay in the state for the whole game just to learn about that state. So I think it will help people's grades go better and I think they'll, they'll just learn a lot and do better in school and like classes like geography and just like just any class that they have to learn it um other games like this that i can think of is like mario party like there's like little like tash or games you have to play um in between like walking around they're like mini games or whatever so i guess that could be like it and then there is a lot of um games that are like world like explore the world but i think the united just limiting it to the united states is actually a way better because i feel like a lot of classes just learned about the united states i don't think i had a class that learned about the world so i think this will be a lot better and make them better in school and also them doing these tasks and games in the states will probably want that want make them want to travel to these states so it gives them a better idea of what's out there than just where they live. Some ideas to do in each state would be like California, you could go to Disneyland and ride the rides. You could surf, you could hike to the Hollywood sign. Utah, you could ski, go to Antelope Island, hike, all that, or go to Lagoon. Hawaii, you can snorkel, kayak, dive with like dolphins and stuff. Wisconsin, you can be a cheese tester, milk cows and milk goats. And New York, you can eat hot dogs, um, be in Broadway shows, and ride a boat to the Statue of Liberty. Those are just some ideas of what kind of things would be in each state. Of course, there's going to be tons more just so that they have an option of what they want to do. So this is what my 
idea for a video game would be road tripping, visiting all 50 states, and knowing your states and capitals.